We are students of the Lausanne American School, an international boarding school in Switzerland. We come from 50 different countries and speak many different languages. Though we have diverse backgrounds, we all chose to live in the Alps and to make Lausanne our home. Lausanne is located in the Swiss canton of Vaux. Situated at an altitude of 1,300 meters, it's near the meeting point of the Bernese mountain range and the Mont Blanc range. It is one of the world's finest views. We sometimes forget how important the Alps really are in our lives. Even when we're lucky enough to live here and see the snow-covered peaks every day. Whether it's the water we drink, the water that nourishes crops, plants and animals, the water for sanitation, the water that makes it possible for major industries to function, or the water that enables us to create energy. This alpine water is absolutely essential to our lives. However, rising temperatures and new precipitation patterns due to global climate change have reduced water availability in the Alps. Receding glaciers throughout the Alps are the most easily visible evidence of this. This documentary stems from conversations with people in our community, people who in different ways are taking steps to reduce pollution in our mountains, to help with global climate change and to even change our way of thinking about the environment. We will meet with a few important personalities of Lausanne and ask them questions to help us understand how climate change is affecting our town. Our first interviewee is a teacher, John Harlan. He has been closely observing changes in the local environment. Uh, I'm John Harlan and I direct the Alpine Institute at the Lausanne American School. Uh, climate change affects the mountains at about twice the rate as it does the planet as a whole. And so we have uh, temperatures increasing considerably and this means that habitats are changing. And so plants that grow at lower elevations are moving up to higher elevations and likewise the animals that live in the same uh, um, biome with the, the plants, they move up higher and so over time we're going to be observing these changes and at Les American School we have a study called LETS where we're looking at the plants and animals at all these different elevations and monitoring them over time. So in 30 years Les will be considerably warmer I imagine and the snow levels are going to change quite a bit. So uh, the season will probably be shorter each year and it'll rely more and more on artificial snow making. There probably won't be that much um, natural snow at the lower elevations anyway. But it's going to keep changing, it's just going to keep moving up the mountainside. We interviewed artist and snowboarder Nicolas Vaudreau, who was born in Les Angles and whose family has lived here for many generations. He has made art installations around Les Angles his art inspired people to become aware of the environment. Hello, I'm Nicolas Vaudreau, artist in residence on planet Earth. And I love to create in many different ways. For example, I created this project uh, where I saw this, this pine cone and it had a face and it looked at me and I felt observed deeply by nature. And uh, then I, I drew this uh, pine cone with a little face and I had an exhibition in a, in a gallery and the first one was saying, we are watching you. And the second one said, do you know who you are? And then he kept going on, I am your brother. And then the last one said, I love you because I believe our Mother Earth is loving us and uh, is supporting us. But how long? So how long can we still live as a species? I believe the best way in education is uh, through example. And I think by 
living what you say uh, in 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 a hopefully uh, inspirational way for for the next generations. I think that's the, the best we can do. The ski station is an important part of why we students live here and an important reason that tourists visit Lezang in the winter. We decided to talk to Andre Hefti, who has two important roles in Lezang. He is the president of the ski station, as well as the owner of Hefti Sports, one of the first winter sporting goods stores in the village. My name is Andre Hefti. My parents started the sports shop in 1963. Uh, tourism has uh, increased enormously. 85 of my business is done in three months in the winter. 15% is done the rest of the year. So those are key months in winter. If those months don't work, we are in trouble. Uh, the last chairlift we just did, uh, that was inaugurated last winter, uh, the cost of that chairlift was 14 million francs. Uh, we spent 1 million francs in those 14 million francs for ecological uh, give to the uh, to the nature that was very important we we want more people to take the train but uh, the federal government has made the decision to include the extension of the uh, cock train from laissez fede to the cable car station over 60 million francs will be spent in the next five or six years i do uh, hope that will become a more cleaner place. Tourism is an important part of our local economy. But what effect does this activity have on our environment? At Hefty Sports, we asked an employee to tell us about what he has noticed about clients. The clients come from all over the world. Mais ils se rendent pas vraiment compte du réchauffement climatique en ce moment. Beaucoup en voiture, bien sûr, en voiture personnelle. Chaque foyer a trois voitures. We wondered if it was true that most people decided to take their car to Lezang. So we asked a few people what kind of transportation they used to get here. Bah, pour commencer, vous venez d'où? To begin with, where do you come from? Backwards, at the summit. What kind of transport did you take to get here? La voiture. A car. En voiture. La voiture. La voiture? Bah la voiture. On a pris le train pour venir. Okay. Je suis moniteur de ski, c'est mon sixième hiver. I'm a ski instructor. It's my sixth winter here. Are you worried about climate change? Bah oui, bien sûr, surtout ici vu que c'est une station basse altitude. Especially because the ski area is low lying. But we don't have much snow in the beginning of the season. Now, because of warm weather, we have had spring snow for two or three weeks. We haven't seen a cloud in the sky, and it's very hot. So we're starting to get afraid for our jobs. We met with local environmental activist Luke Etienne Ganyaba. He started the local chapter of Les Ains in Transition, which is part of a worldwide movement of towns that are choosing to create sustainable energy plans. In Les Ains, Luc Etienne and Les Ains in Transition have helped bring back a local farmer's market, create a center for recycled objects and promote local agriculture. We asked him about what we as students could do to make a real difference on climate change. An easy thing that you can do to reduce your impact on the climate in one go is to stop or reduce your airline travel. It's a little hard especially if you have an international life, but it's the way you can have the largest impact. Another way to have a large impact is to travel less in cars and take the train instead. In general, think twice before you buy an object. Did creating this object pollute the environment? What are the consequences? Each time we produce an object, especially electronic items, it consumes a lot of energy. 
Humanity and society can make the largest difference by reducing our carbon consumption with regard to agriculture. Agriculture currently produces a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Our choices about what we eat will determine how agriculture will evolve and consequently how our soils will evolve and how we'll be able to contain and produce carbon dioxide. Voilà. There you have it. Those are a few ways to reduce your environmental impact. We hope that young people living in the Alps start to see themselves as a part of a single alpine community. We share the same values, the same love for nature's wild beauty, and most of all, the same desire to protect these exceptional places in perpetuity.